We'll be climbing up this river drainage all morning. This goes straight up the mountain, literally almost to the very top. Here we can see a little bit of the valley that we're coming up. There's a little creek down there. And then panning up here. A lot of those conifers that you're seeing are either Sugi, uh, Cryptomeria japonica, or Hinoki, Camisipus obtusa. Way back up in there is our mountain. Long way to go yet. Got a bonus today. This is a fairly rare Leparis species in this area, Leparis Krameri, called Jigabachiso in Japanese, meaning uh, wasp grass. Because it looks like, uh, kind of like uh, the flower, it looks like a wasp. Look at there's a seed pod there. These are all out of flower right now. Uh, they'll bloom in June. It's August now. I'll have to come back. I guess next year and try to get a shot of these and flower. Impressive colony, maybe around 50 plants total. Uh, pretty awesome. Bonus. Here's another uh, little native orchid of these woods. Very common. Uh, again, out of flower, unfortunately. This one does have a flower stalk, but it's finished. Uh, this is Platanthera minor. Uh, minor meaning little or not much. Um, this plant is pretty common and widespread in our area, but it's sporadic. It comes up some years, not others. Uh, the flower is nothing to speak of, a little green flower. Um, so you're not missing much, to be honest. There's a naked flower stalk, no, uh, no seed pods. Uh, it's like one of the simple, plain-looking platanthers of North America. Relatively uninteresting, but interesting because it is an orchid and pretty common. Well, here's a fun little section of the road. I'm not going to get too close, but I'm going to try to peek over here so you can see what's happening. <laughs> yeah. This is an extreme drop-off, too. One day this whole thing's just gonna calm down. And uh let's see a section up here. Holy guacamole. <laughs> I think they're giving up on this road. And here you can see the whole retaining wall uh has come loose and the road is just giving way. Uh not dangerous. Here's a little fruiting delicacy, acabia, grows on a vine. And uh, locals like to eat this in the fall. It turns bright red. Uh, kind of about the size of a small apple. Lots of it up in these forests. Well, we're up on the ridge and uh, in Gudera habitat. Here's a neat little plant you see a lot up here. It's just a toad lily. We'll be seeing a lot more of these. So let's uh, let's go find some Gudera. Here's another gorgeous plant of these ridgeline forests. This is uh, Asarum, Aceroides. Um, it's a kind of a wild ginger. Gorgeous plant. Um, the genius who named it uh, Asarum Aceroides deserved an award, of course, because Aceroides means looks like an Asarum. So it's an Asarum that looks like an Asarum. Good job. Uh, lots of variation in leaf color on this one. I'll try to get more pick, more uh, video later of different forms. Here's our first little Gudiera, Gudiera schlichtendeliana. This is a very small specimen. You can barely see the little plant down in there. Uh, let me show you just how tiny it is. That's how tiny it is. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Here's another lovely form of that, the Sarum I showed you before, Sarum aceroides. I'm going to fly over here real quick, sorry for the speed of the video, and you can see the more typical leafed form. Also very pretty. Very pretty. Lots of variation. Some of them can even be almost pure white, silvery green. I was just walking up these woods and thinking, this place just reeks of uh, Gudera, and sure enough, here's our first little Gudera volutina. 
right here. Nice little colony. Again, a very tiny plant. Very tiny. And here's the flowers, which are actually for the plant amazingly large and beautiful. Go ahead and go back to the plants here and show you how big they are compared to my hand. Little bitties. Amazing. Here's a fairly large group of uh, Gudjera volutina again. Um, this, in fact, was a much more extensive colony that I had photographed years ago. And uh, frankly, I'm disappointed at the number of plants here. Um, just goes to show that uh, colonies wax and wane. And uh, this colony definitely is in a waning mode. There's no doubt about that. Still, plentiful enough. Been having a lot of rain lately, and there's lots of fungus. This is a delicate little thing. Only a few inches across. Beautiful. I'll score again. Good year, Selectendeliana. In bud. Hopefully we'll get some more in flower. This ridgeline forest is the perfect spot to find. Good year, Schlechten Daliana, but I really have been stumped this year in finding any good plants. And this kind of a uh, scrubby vegetation like this there, just normally all around. But as I said, I've been having a hard time. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, here's one that's kind of going out of flower. Hmm. Well. Just keep up the search, and the next time I find one, I'll get the camera out again. I finally found a reasonably good co sized colony here. Here you can see a, a sterile plant. They put a lot of energy into leaves and have much broader, more beautiful leaves uh, as sterile plants, non flowering plants. But here you can even see with my finger that they're really not that large. I'll pan over here to a plant that uh, has a spike. You see they're in all stages of flowering. I'm going to come up here. Some more plants. This is a reasonable group in here. And here's one that's in flower. These are not large. Uh, widespread species, but never too numerous. This is about as uh, thick a concentration as you're going to find them. Anyway, there you go. Oh, here's another little, little guy. Little seedling. Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can find any more. Here's a couple more flowering plants. Um, they are uh, kind of a little past their prime. Um, you can see the plants down there themselves. Uh, I found that with this species, as with other Gojira, that they tend to put less energy into the leaves and the flowering plants, and so they tend to be smaller. And here has got to be the mother of all Gojira Schlechtendaliana. This one's probably about, uh, hmm, I don't know, 15 centimeters tall at least. You can even see the plant itself is in good shape. Uh, here, let me go ahead and get my hand back there so you can see how big it is. That's about as big as they get. I don't get any bigger than that, so impressive. I wanted to share one last treat before going back down the hill. Um, here is the native fir tree, Abies firma which is called uh, Mominoki in Japanese. Uh, 
This is uh, not a rare species, but it only lives at higher elevations like this. So we're up at about, I don't know, 850 meters or so here. So that's pretty high up. Winters get cool up here. Okay, well the wind is howling like heck, and sorry for the quality of the video today. It was really dark from all the clouds, and uh, it was hard to, uh, to shoot today. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the trip through this little piece of Japan, and uh, please come back for our next adventure. Thanks.